Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video today on how to put this in this envelope. And when I did it, I was trying to get these this text the same even on this line. And I was just going through there, and I was typing, well, maybe 40. And then I started thinking about after I was doing this, it'd be a lot easier to bring in two indexing lines. Tell you what, let me move these up here. So I can zoom in. I've got these two indexing lines, so I want all the text to there. So I'm going to hold down the control button, and I'm going to hit the two. I'm going to select that text. I'm going to hit the two, which is going to go downhill one at a time. Let's watch this one. It's at 37.09. Let's tell you what, for the video, we're going to make it 38 to start with. So you can see this. Now control 8. And it's going to go to 39, 40. It goes up progressively one at a time. Same thing on the socialize. I just changed it. So let's make it 60. And then F or control 8. Now if you go too far. Control 2. The number two on your keypad of your keyboard. So now we've got them all kind of about the same size. Now we need to go to align and distribute, which I have that one already open, and select this right here. And then you're ready to put them in the envelope. So I've got the envelope docker open. And we're going to select all this. Have to group it together. Select our create a form, set it inside the form, and then hit apply. So now our text is on a better line because we are, we could minutely change that. Now let's back up here for a second. When you have text, let me tell you what. Let's just write the word text out. When you have text, and now I don't have, I can zoom in here. That text is, let's make it, it's huge. So let's make it 100. Invalid number because the T was still on there. So I'm 100. I'm going to control 8, and it's 101, 102. It's going up one at a time. Control 2, arrow, down. Now, if you use the, so we're at a, we're at a hundred. Now I'm going to hit the control six. You see, I went to 10, 120, 130. It's going up at 10 at a time. The four back down 10 at a time. Now it goes, now it gets into some different numbers. Because what it's doing is taking the numbers that I've used before. You see there's 69.137. Then it's going to go 60 and 52. And then 47. Let's see if it doesn't do that. Let's select it and go down with 4 to 60, 52, 50, 48. See there's a 47. So what it does when you use the 2, or the 4, and the 6, it goes through your selection that you've made a font that size before or a text that size. But when you had down the when you hold down the control in the eight, it's just gonna go up one at a time. So it's real cool when you need to size something for something like this. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.